Hello everyone, Aidloy here with another update. Before I jump into what I did last week, I would like to invite all of you to the next Bevy meetup, which is going to be next Tuesday. Link in the description. I'm going to hold a presentation there to show my work on the widget library. So if you are interested in that, to, to get a summary, uh, be sure to join. There will be other uh, presenters as well, which could potentially be far more interesting than a widget library. Uh, so be sure to mark your calendars. Now, this week I have been refactoring. Refactoring to allow contextualization of the uh, UI builder, which means I can restrict what is available in a given context. For instance, I have a docking zone here, which has a tab container inside. So you should normally add tabs to it. And the builder you get is actually a tab container um, builder, which has uh, the ability to add tabs. You could, of course, step out of it and, and add your own things, but this is the most obvious things you would do uh, with it. So this is the primary function you would call on it. The reason I did this wasn't just specifically for the tab containers. The menus are similar. They would usually have menu items and uh, constraining the builder to build menu items is a lot better as a user experience or developer experience than you know just being able to create a floating panel inside the menu which might not be what you want besides that besides constraining what is available uh, this is also something i plan to use for the theming itself so this work is actually part of the the preparation for actually applying the colors but being able to extend the UI Builder for a specific context enables uh, the possibility to create the theming related functions to be specifically added to all of the UI elements. So each can, you know, style themselves. Um, but I, I will explore that later on when I'm actually adding the uh, colors and everything. But for now, uh, it's just there, the refactoring is done, and I have been hunting bugs since then. Last time I mentioned there is a little bug with the, well, not a little, but a huge bug with the uh, docking zones that sometimes uh, crashes the, the app with a panic. It doesn't do it now because I have disabled it. Uh, I mean, I disabled the whole uh, let's delete the thing part. But if I were to enable it and create that, that particular situation, the whole thing would crash. And this is because Tuffy doesn't find uh, the children of a parent. I think it's the children of the parent and not the parent of the children. One of the one or the other. the The problem is that this should not happen. And I I thought that it's it's a problem of how the entities are created and in what order they are created because you can create an entity without adding a node and it could have a children as well and you can move around things and this is what i'm doing here i have to sometimes move a content from one container to the other for instance when you dock a tab i need to move the content to the tab itself which is fine uh, the problem is that it created situations where removing the, 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 the container, the target container where I place a, a panel, would crash the app. And I still haven't figured out why. However, I have been spending time cornering it. So I removed or fixed everything that was a problem, you know, which led me to have only like one situation, one particular situation where I can reproduce this. And this, the, the problem seems to be with how I split my docking zones. And I won't bore you with the details. Uh, you know, I will just fix it by next time, hopefully. Uh, the interesting part here is that I created a little tool uh, for myself that lets me uh, look into the, the hierarchy and, and uh, I'm going to show you this because this is, I think it's a good uh, debug tool and I'm going to share that in a, in a GIST so you can grab it and try it yourself. Um, but for now, let me just uh, quickly find it. 
Um, so there you go. Uh, it's the log hierarchy you see here. And I'm going to start up the app and, you know, just do something that will uh, lead me to this uh, log here. And just so I can print something. So I'm going to pop up this tab and dock it, which should create a wonderful tree view of uh, the entities that were involved in that um, motion. So this is the uh, before state of the split that you have seen there. And uh, the problem is that I'm looking for the size zones, you know, and, and try to figure out why it's not splitting the, the way I imagine it uh, should. And this is a bit verbose, and as you can see, I, I, I'm listing all of the components that I have in my crate. But this is not all it can do. Uh, it's actually an option to filter your, your content. So if I want to just see all of the um, size zones, uh, docking zones, and app containers, I can easily do that simply by changing the filter that I'm passing to this function well to this to this command the only gotcha here that you have to be careful about is that it, it, it's it's a command so it's executed when the command is executed so you have to be careful what your current state is there anyway as you can see now i have um, scaled it down or well filtered it down to to only show my sized zones docking zones or tab containers. So this will also tell you how it's exactly st structured. So, so the container I'm trying to split is actually not the zone itself. It's, uh, this is the parent of the zone and this entity is the zone. But the important part is uh, what siblings it has and you know the children as well. In this case I have two sized zones next to each other and another sized zone inside um, my main, well, the first main size zone. And the second one is actually the docking zone that I'm targeting with the drop action. So this is something I, I'm using to figure out the uh, structural changes uh, between the steps of the split in this case. But again, I won't bore you with this. Uh, I just uh, think this is a great tool uh, for debugging if you don't have an EGUI setup where you can actually see your um, hierarchy. This is something you can plug in. You also uh, have the the option to just log the components, but that's, that's something Bevy already uh, provides for you. And again, this is something I'm going to share because it's, it's a nice uh, thing and it's quite standalone. Uh, basically, it's an extension on entity commands and an ugly little thing here that actually parses out your component names and filters and everything. And it's what it is. It's, it's not rocket science and it's not perfect, but it does the job. So, uh, and of course it's wasteful. So uh, don't, don't do this all the time. Anyway, uh, that, that's all I have for now. And I'm going to be fixing this bug and moving on with the theming and preparing for the meetup. So hopefully I see you there. Otherwise, uh, maybe next week. Until then, have fun. Ciao, ciao.